Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, welcome to uh, my solo tutorial uh, of how to make uh, flats uh, for calibrating your astro images. Afterwards, uh, you have collected them with your telescope. Uh, I am going to show you real quick uh, how I am taking them with Maxim DL. Uh, and my Attic 460 EX Mono camera. Uh, I am going to take my uh, flat uh, with a uh, Electrolunas uh, panel uh, I bought off eBay. I am going to change that one to perhaps the new uh, line of uh, LED panels from IKEA. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cold here, uh, bear with me. Um, the, the panel I have uh, right now covering the front of my telescope uh, is a bit bluish. Uh, it was a cheap uh, uh, EL panel from eBay, so I wasn't expecting much. But it's a lot easier to take them with a panel uh, than to take them with a t-shirt covering your front end telescope uh, and take them during the, the sunset because uh, it's quite difficult to get a consistent uh, reading. So uh, how do I take the flats? Um, my camera has a, a max uh, ADU of uh, 65,000 um, uh, before it gets uh, uh, full before it hits the roof. Uh, so I am going to aim at getting my flats at 20,000 ADU. <coughs> I am also taking my picture in bin 1 at uh, 25 degrees centigrade below uh, freezing point. Uh, as you can see here the camera <coughs> is running fine uh, and has a temperature of minus 25 degrees now. So uh, before I start taking uh, my flats, um, I am going to check that uh, the values, uh, the exposure values, uh, hits uh, 20,000 ADU. So I have uh, prepared a bit, so you don't have to wait uh, so much. I have already done the red, green, blue, the luminance, and I am just about to take the exposure for uh, H alpha, uh, hydrogen alpha. So I will put in 17 seconds here uh, and I will try to take one single exposure. Okay, so it's downloading. <coughs> I really hope I'm going to hit around 20,000. Nope, I didn't. Uh, these values uh, actually are half a year old and I have my camera in for repair since that. So uh, I have to bump up the values a bit. to bump it up a bit more, 21 seconds.
Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Uh, let's move on to the O3 filter. That's oxygen. Uh, and I believe I had 2.25. Uh, let's try that out. Let's bump that up a bit too. Two and a half seconds, maybe. Well, that's too much. Two point four. Okay, let's move on to the sulfur filter. I believe I had like 21 seconds or something, and we can bump it up to 23 at once. Okay, let's hit it. Um, when I have uh, figured out uh, how many, many exposure seconds. The exposure time for each filter, I will then set it up uh, so it takes uh, 20 flats uh, of each filter running uh, automatically. So this is just a pre-check, so each filter hits about uh, 20,000 ADUs. Okay, that's almost... Yeah, let's try 24. I can show you how the picture looks like, but it, it ain't so much to look at, actually. The point of taking flat picture is to get rid of the uh, errors in the optical axis. So, okay, here we go. That's close enough. 24 seconds. And uh, now I am going to go into the autosave and I will da, 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 load sequence and I believe I have a flat sequence already saved here. Um, okay. The red filter, I'm going to uh, show both screens at once here. I am sorry for this. Okay, so red filter is going to be 1.9 seconds. The green filter should be 0.17 seconds. The blue filter should be 0.087. The luminance should be 0.05. The H alpha 17. No, excuse me. 21 seconds. I am going to change this. Uh, the O3, 2.4 seconds. And the S2, 24 seconds. Okay. Uh, H alpha 21. The O3, 2.4. And the sulfur, 24 seconds. Okay. 
right, now we can go back to the first screen. Okay, there we go. Hope this is better. Okay, so let's evaluate this. Uh, I'm going to the auto save file now will be flats bin one minus twenty five as for the degrees. I can change what type of uh, picture it is, and it is a flat. Each filter has a suffix. Uh, the exposure time will be go here, and I am shooting bin one. And I am going to repeat 20 times for each filter. Oh, 24 seconds. What is this? Okay. Uh, I'm going to save this sequence like that. I am going to set the image path uh, and it will store the picture. Yeah, and my mouse. Okay, apply. Okay, well, let's go. Now it's moving filters and it's exposing the red. And let's see if I got the numbers right. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. And you see here, I have a dust bunny. And this is why it's so important to take flat pictures, because this kind of artifacts is important to get rid of. So this is exactly why we have to take flat pictures. Without flat pictures, I would have a, a black blob in my images. Okay. It looks nice. It's going to run for half an hour, and uh, actually, this is it. Uh, maybe I show how to how to make master flats in Pixinsight at a point later on. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, check my Facebook page, uh, Exo Photography. Um, yeah, thanks for now. Bye.